Okay, so on our website, we only have one page, which is our front page. And if we go into there, we have some a content editor, which is blank. So if we go into our page to refresh it and look at it as if we're a user, you'll notice that it is a blank page. Obviously, if we type some content into here and we hit update and refresh the page, nothing will come up either. And that's because we need to put in some code into our template to be able to call the data from the WordPress database. So to do that, let's go back into our code editor and go to our front page.php template because our home is the front page and it's using that, that front page template. And the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to put in a section. Now, I ca it's called a template part. Now, you don't have to do this, but with every WordPress site, it can get quite complex. There can be a lot of stuff, a lot of code on your page, and you want to somehow separate the code so you don't have a huge chunk of code on your page. And to do that, it's really quite easy. First thing we'll do is we'll create a new folder. Let's just create a folder and we'll just call it includes. And this is where we're going to put all of our includes files in there that we're going to include into our templates. And then within there, let's create another file and we'll just call it section hyphen and we'll call it content.php. We'll hit save. And then we can then go back into our front page.php template and we can easily call that template part. And WordPress has a function for us to do that. So we just do PHP get underscore template underscore part. And then we have to tell it where it is. So it's in the includes folder. So we'll do includes. And then the first part of the name before the, ha uh, the hyphen. So it's section. And then the second argument will be the, the second part of the name, which is after the hyphen called content. The reason why we do this is obviously to separate our logic and also to keep everything organized. So if you're looking for something that's a section, you can straight away see it's called section dash and then content. It's just in case you have a lot of includes files, you can easily see them in the list. Okay, so now that we have the link to that specific or we've included that file, let's type this is the, this is the content section and we'll hit save and refresh the home page and there we go our content section comes up and the beauty of doing it this way is that we don't have to keep on typing in the same code all over and over again we just can include the file so now that we have the section set up we need to go into our section and then put in the code to be able to pull the content for that specific page from the database so to do that, let's just go into our section content page, which we created or our, our includes file. We'll take away that and we'll do a PHP code, which goes like this. PHP, if have posts while have posts, the post. So what this is, basically it says if we have posts for the specific page that we're on, while we have the post there, show us the post. That's pretty much all it is. And just make sure that you get all this right because it can, there's a lot of brackets everywhere and make sure these are colons and this is a semicolon. And then we want to close this. We want to do PHP end while and then a semicolon and then else and then a colon and then end if which is a semicolon. Now that we have it in there, uh, we need to then just call a small code which tells us to show us the content, which is PHP the content. Let's go back into our theme and refresh the home page. You should see that the content comes up so we can go and edit this page now. And let's just write, this is the content within here. We'll update it, view the page, beautiful. It's coming up now. So now what we can do is we can create another page. Let's call it about us. And inside there, let's type this, uh, let's 
type in this is the about us page. Let's update the page and look at it in the front end now. You'll notice that the about us page is blank. Why is that? Well, as mentioned before, the front page.php template only shows for the page which has been set to be the front page in WordPress. So every other page is just a default standard page and therefore we use the page.php template. So you'll notice that it's blank. What we can do is if we just type in this is the page template and save that, you'll notice that when we refresh, it will just come up, this is the page template. And it will happen with all the other pages you create as well. So if you create a contact us page, we'll do contact us, we'll hit publish, and then let's view the page. There we go, it's still using the same page. So about us and contact us are using the same page template. So it's really quite easy. Just go to our front page and we've only got basic content in there. So let's copy that and paste it into our page.php and we'll get out of our front page there for now and let's refresh it. There we go. So we have contact us now and we have about us. And as you can see, the content from the about us page is typed in there. If we go here to our edit page and we can do, this is the contact page and hit update, view that. There we go. This is the contact page. Okay. So obviously when you're building a big website, you may not want to use just one standard template for each page. You might want each page to have its own template. Um, and it's, it's actually quite easy to implement. So what we do is we firstly create a template and then we assign it to the page. But we need to do a few things in that template for WordPress to recognize that it is a template so that we get the option to assign it to the page. So to do that, let's just go and create a new file and I'm just going to call it for organizational purposes. You can call it whatever you'd like template hyphen and we'll just call it contact us. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a template for the contact us page because you might want that to look different. You might want it to have a map on it. You might want it to have a contact form and you might want it to be split in a couple of sections. So we'll do contact us.php. So template dash contact us.php. And let's just go into our contact page and edit the page. And you'll notice that nothing's still, nothing's different everything's still working the same. And that's because what we need to do firstly in this template is tell WordPress that it is a template. So we can do open tags, PHP tags, and then do forward slash and star. We're gonna do a comment and it's gonna be called template name. And we're gonna call it contact us. And then we'll close it with the star and the forward slash. And then we'll close the PHP tag. And then let's just type, this is the contact us template. We can then refresh the page and now because WordPress automatically can read, it reads all the files and if it sees something with this uh, comment there, it recognizes, okay, that's a template page. So I'm going to give them the option to use that. So we'll refresh the page now and you'll see on the right hand side here now that we have the option to use the default template, which is page.php or we can use the contact us template. So if I choose that, and click on update and view the page. Now we are using the contact us template. So let's go to our about page and that is using the standard template. The contact us template is just using this. So let's just go and copy the content from our page.php and put it in our contact us.php. And let's just say you wanted to have uh, two sections on this page. You wanted to have a left side and a right side and we're using bootstrap here so we can do div row and we can then do div col lg6 so we're going to split it in half so we need two of those columns. One side will be the uh, let's just say this is where the contact form goes and this is where within here, this right column is where the content of the page goes. So let's just paste that template part into there. And let's now refresh the contact us page. And you'll see now we have the two sections. 
So that's how you give each page its own template if you need to. You may not need to do it, but it's very powerful if you do because then you can customize each page to how you want it. With that being said, uh, in the previous tutorials, I showed you how to include your header. So for example, if we go to page, uh, frontpage.php, we have get header and get footer. Now it kind of works very similar to get template part because we can use different headers if we want to. Let's go and, and if you have a look at the get header uh, function, it has some arguments that it accepts. So we can actually tell it that we want it to use a different header in case you want to use different headers on different pages as well. To do that, to do that all you'd need to do is go into your theme and create another file and we'll, we'll make sure it's called header hyphen whatever you want. So we'll call it uh, secondary. So it's a, the secondary header. Header.php is the default header. And this is something we can refer to if we want to use it. So we'll go into our uh, front page now and we will change this to secondary. And what this is going to do is it's going to say, okay, it you want to get the header. So I'm going to look for something called header.php, but hang on a second. It's given me an argument of secondary, which means, okay, they want something called header hyphen secondary. So if I type, this is secondary header, it's not going to work very well because we haven't got the HTML scaffolding, but if we refresh it uh, and we go back to our front page, obviously, you'll see that it's using our secondary header. Okay. So obviously what you'd want to do is you would want to copy the first header or the primary header, save that, and then maybe put this is the second header and put whatever stuff you want to customize in that second header. So let's refresh it now. So there we go. We have the home page using a different header and we have our uh, contact page using the other header. And that applies to the footer as well. You would just need to create a file called footer hyphen, whatever you want, and then you can assign uh, a different footer for a different page. And that's how it works. Great. So uh, in this tutorial, we've learned how to add the content into the pages. We've learned how to create template parts and to change headers and footers if we need to, as well as page templates. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video so we can continue with our tutorial. Cheers.